So could the pressures and strain prove too much to bear for those few teenagers who go on to become rampage killers, like Andy Williams? Is Andy in here? Yes. And there he is, making the goofy faces. It was March 5th, 2001, when the cute kid in Jeff Williams' photo albums became the murder suspect on the 6 o'clock news. About 9.30 this morning, shots rang out at a suburban San Diego high school. Andy walked into a boys' room at Santana High School in Santee, California, and opened fire. He killed two fellow students and injured 13 others. My boyfriend got shot, that's all I know. Suspect shot two people in the bathroom at first, then opened the door to the bathroom and shot it started shooting randomly anybody who was passing by. More than a decade after the shootings, Jeff is still perplexed. So he wasn't a kid that was infatuated with violence? No, not at all. He, yeah, I mean, you have the silly clown. That's, that's the thing, you know? You don't expect a silly clown to do something like this, to go kill people. The class clown. The class clown, to be the class killer. When we heard the shots, I thought it was fake. My teacher said it was real. The gun was a 22 caliber revolver taken from Jeff's locked gun cabinet. Ironically, a gun that had brought father and son together. I feel bad that he used um, my gun. Um, but the, 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 it was the gun, one of the guns that I taught him how to shoot with. The first two counts charge the defendant with murder. The remaining counts are 13 counts of attempted murder, premeditated attempted murder, all with the gun. Facing life without parole, Andy pleaded guilty. At his sentencing hearing, a year and a half after the shootings, he faced the families of his victims. All I ask is that you look at the horrors Andy committed and not to be lenient because of his age. He was old enough to know what was right and what was wrong. And he knew that what he was doing was terribly wrong. Do you love your son? Yes, I love my son very much. Um, ironically, the first time I told him I loved him, that I can remember, was when I saw him for the first time at Juvenile Hall on March 8th. And you know, I, uh, it's, I love him now, I loved him then, and I'm going to support him. He's my son. I do not condone what he did. I do not condone the way he went about trying to resolve his issues whatsoever. He made a very bad choice. I can't change that. So what were Andy's issues? After the shootings, the truth began to emerge. For Jeff, the revelations were a complete surprise. He knew that Andy was the new kid at school. He and his son had recently moved to a San Diego suburb from Maryland, leaving his ex-wife, Andy's mom, a continent away. But what Jeff didn't know was Andy had sunk into a state of deep despair. He didn't fit in at Santana High, and even his so-called friends bullied him unmercifully. Beat him up like he did Trevor that one day. <laughs> he started drinking, smoking pot, and taking prescription painkillers. We're getting buzzed off of it. He's hot. Yeah, we're all high. Santana students say the suspected shooter had a reputation for being picked on. And even though he had made threats, no one thought that he would carry out such an act. Andy is now 27 and has served 12 years of his 50-year-to-life sentence. We spoke on a monitored line from inside the Ironwood prison in the middle of the Southern California desert. This call is from an inmate at a California correctional facility. Can you still hear me? Take us back to that moment, and if you can tell us what was going on in your mind at the time, that would really help us. Um, to 
me, it was just like a numbness at the time. You know what I mean? And like I couldn't really like at 15, I didn't really think like all that stuff through. I didn't think two boys were gonna die. I didn't think 13 people were gonna get shot. I just thought I was gonna make a lot of noise and and that the and that the cops were gonna show up. Did you feel suicidal? Absolutely. It was a like an eight month constant like it was, like I wonder if things would be better if if I wasn't if I wasn't like in this in this city in this state like or even even on this earth. So it, my grand scheme, like my grand plan was, was suicide by cop. Andy says he wanted to die. If not by his own hand, then suicide by cop, getting gunned down by authorities. At the last moment, he changed his mind and turned himself into police on the scene. As it turns out, about 60% of rampage killers end up killing themselves. Some experts believe understanding and spotting the suicidal mind is a key piece of the puzzle.